Welcome back. You're watching Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. Just in case you're just joining us, we're taking a look at all your trending stories in our exciting, beautiful, action-packed world of sports. We are still following everything going down at the IWF World Championships in London. Good news, we told you, for Team Nigeria. Uh, tonight, Blessing Okagbari Igu Teguano qualified for uh, the final of the long jump event. Sadly, S.A. Brume uh, couldn't make it, but we're celebrating um, Blessing Akagbari and was saying well done to S.A. Brume uh, for putting up a good fight and she will keep getting better and better. We also told you that Mo Farah uh, finished second in his eight 5,000 meters men and he has qualified uh, for the final. Remember, Mo Farah uh, won the first medal at this championship in the men's 10,000 meters and is hoping to make it a double by winning uh, the 5,000 meters. Let's get on with the show now. Just before that break, we we're talking about our fans' conduct and then uh, also players' um, professional conduct. Conducts. Abia Warriors says they have suspended uh, Godwin Zaki uh, for uh, indefinitely, actually, indefinite suspension, and they described it as indiscipline and professional misconduct. Let's get on with the show now. Do you remember AJK was wearing? Yes, that petite guy that mm -hmm. run and run and then do beautiful things with the ball. A South Africa Premier a Soccer League club, I asked Cape Town, they have announced. Uh, the signing of Nigerian winger Edgy Kills one year. Uh, this is one player that had uh, so much promise yeah. when he came, you know, when, when he came, announced himself. But I don't know what really happened. But let's just hope that going to Ayas Cape Town can revive his career. Yeah, uh, obviously, I'm so happy that um, happy that he's, he's gotten to Ajax Cape Town. He's good from Bidvest Bank. Mm. You know, at the, at the stage, he went into obscurity. I and, know. Uh, we never ever thought. I think he was also part of the World Cup squad. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I never ever thought he would have this, you know, problem. And uh, his football just went under. And uh, this is a good move for him. Still within South Africa, it's an opportunity for him to showcase his talent, show that uh, he still, got, still has... Uh, some you know some things off his sleeves and i hope he's able to exploit this opportunity and uh, excel and improve his football career mm. so that's mm. uh, a good one for uh educators or yeah at least keep some relevance in his football yeah uh, he's a fan favorite in south africa you know he has done exploits um with the chan team yep. he, he emerged the mvp mm -hmm. under uh, coach Stephen so Keshi. Keshi. he went to the world cup in a, right. a lot of experience also played uh, at Rennes in france uh, on a loan day from uh, Rangers, played for Rangers, Ayimba, uh, Gateway, F you know, a, a player that has um, huge experience. Mm -hmm. We just hope that he bounces back and as quickly as possible at um, Ayas Cape Town, uh, so that um, you know we, we, we so that we begin to see what um, he, he has done in the past. Mm. You know, a, a very skillful player, very quick. You know, fly from the flanks and uh, with those pinpoint. Uh, crosses. Mm. We just hope that he's able to rekindle yeah. his career once again. Mm. Showed a lot of brilliance mm. in that uh, Chan team. Yeah. Uh, arguably uh, the most you know, um, relevant player. No wonder he won the most valuable yeah. player yeah. award. Yeah. Now, since we just mentioned the Chan, before we talk about uh, the All-Stars Cup, let's talk about the Chan Eagles. Um, a lot of worries on there. They tune Tunji, Mfonu, Dos, TV, No Day. Uh, in the end, we might not just be getting the full complement of that Chan team that uh, we were hoping to have. Yeah. yeah. Um, some setbacks, if, if you ask me. Um, Fonodo, um, 12 goals this season. Mm. Um, he, he, he was um, in a Yimba squad that played against MFM last Sunday, but we heard that um, he, he was not in the squad in the training uh, against the selected side in Kano. Uh, maybe for precautionary measures, we hope so. Mm. Uh, Sunday, I did like you mentioned, wow. fractured his mm. hand up shortly after scoring mm. you know, against um, Lobby Stars for Abia Warriors. He also has uh, 14 goals. You know, these are top quality strikers. I, I just hope that Salisu Yusuf will be able to, you know, get capable replacements for these players. You know, I mean, when you miss the services of players who have scored double digits with their mm -hmm. clubs, it shows that um, you need a lot of uh, work to do yeah. to get replacement for this player. And it's not just Sunday at the Tunji and Ufonudo. Yeah. Uh, big dark cloud on Stevie Nodi. What, what's the update? What's going on? It's so sad what is happening. Man would have thought that uh, this is a one great opportunity that they would have taken advantage of and, you know, and excelled, quite frankly. I mean, well, by the time you play in Chan, for example, I mean, it increases the prospect of you being you not know, just getting the club in Europe, mm. but you know, and your price tag increases. Mm. But what we are hearing is all sorts of rumor he might, he might not be, you know, and uh, uh, coming at this stage when you mm. consider the strikers that are already injured, it, it's quite unfortunate, you know. Sadly, 
Yusuf really has a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do, oh yeah, and I've, I've, I've listened to uh, different sides on this Stephen, Stephen O'Day's issue. Do you blame a young guy with ambition that is doing so well that sees an opportunity, I want to take it because he wants to play for the Chan Eagles? What if he gets a good um, club to move? Are you going to say because of Chan? No, 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 no let's move with and play for Chan O'Day. Is that what he should be saying? Yeah, he's, he's quite delicate, Austin. Yeah. I, I saw Stephen O'Day late on Sunday night. He came to the hotel of Enyimba to come and talk to you know to see to follow a fellow guy, and you know his performance against Enyimba was not you know as impressive. Mm -hmm. But you would not expect that he plays at that level every All match. The day, time, yeah. You know, but um, you see, I, I think we need to educate our players. You know, when you play, yes, you need to. You want to go out. You want to earn you know dollars. You want to improve your fortunes. Mm. But going on trial sometimes is like gambling. Mm -hmm. it, it may work. It may not work. But if you are lucky to play at that level in a chance, scouts will come and you sign a contract outrightly instead of going on trials. You know, but you can't stop these players from moving. Mm. I think the young man wants to move. And um, it has been in, um, in the offing for, for quite some time. You know, what I'm sure about is that he's not going to be in MFM by next season. Mm. You know, where he's going to go is um, what we don't know. Mm. The but way he's going about it is, is almost as if he's, he's an affront on MFM. And now he's affecting the, the, would you the blame Chan him? Eagles. You know, the, the time will come. I think you have to blame the agent, obviously. They are, these are things they are prepping him up seriously. Sometimes we're going to call agents. agents. Is it family. You know, you Do you know what his family yeah. says? Yeah. So much pressure. You know, so much pressure on him and... him and... And, it, and, and it's not going to be the first. You know, Bola Hosalami, Yaha had this Bola issue, was, in the, was, he was even the captain mm -hmm. of the home base team. But uh, when the offer from Finland came, the guy didn't think twice. That's he right. Left. And, uh, That's right. You know, so, sometimes That's right. you don't blame this person. I understand, Joseph, that you want some level of professionalism. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes, you know, okay, first thing first, uh, the, the Sweden visit, it didn't, the way the news came out, and things. like, oh, it just, just was declared wanted. You, you, know, you see, so things are being kept quiet now. Don't forget, this is his career. Yeah. And whether you like it or not, Steve, you know, they have shown some good yeah. promise that he's a fantastic player at this level and he's quite young. Yeah. So you, you, don't, you don't want him to miss out of a chance when he sees one. If the opportunities will come. This is not... Uh, well, his management, of course, they are the ones who are prepping this up. You know, and MFM has been very, very diplomatic with this. Stephen has done enough to end his suspension from MFM. The last time, <laughs> yes, the last time he was, he more or less absconded. They declared him wanted. And uh, because they, they, they already know in their heart that he would go. Yeah. And they don't want to do anything that will probably mm. affect his price tag. Mm. So they are just letting him, you know, just go, go, go ahead with this trifling, you know, mm. attitude and mm. all those things. But obviously, Stevie Node is not handling this issue as a professional. He's yeah. really messing so many things up for his club side ah. and also now Salis to Yusuf. Mm. And he's getting into the bad books of, of the Super Eagles. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Salis to Yusuf will transmit this to Gaara. What are his chances of even, <laughs> you might even you, what, what he ends up as the highest goal scorer with an attitude problem yeah. in a position that has so many other contenders? Yeah. He might not even. You're being patriotic and it's good. You're trying to Yeah, I know, I know, I know the should. business aspect of it. Mm. But, but this is not the last opportunity. If he plays for Chan, yeah. plays represent Nigeria in Chan, it, it, it's a bigger platform. So maybe Southampton comes before Chan. Yeah. You, should, you should say you're uh, waiting for Southampton. What are the chances? Well, I'm, no, I'm you know, the, the thing is that. That he's still, well, why would he be going for trials? If he, he's still one of these clubs that are trying to find out if he's good enough. I understand where you're coming yeah. from, um, perfectly, Joseph. But oh yeah, um, let's 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 check out our odds. Let's say Sunday at the is out already out. Not let's say. Um, let's say uh, one the funnel door. door. He's missing um, um, Stephen O'Day, uh, not not part of the team. Do you have any worries for this chance? I see quality everywhere. Yeah, there's quality. Uh, I mean. Um, without Steven Ode, they played against um, FIDA's team of Canopy last year. A lot of people might say, why are they playing against? Mm. You know, a friendly is a friendly. You know, you, you have to watch your team under a match situation. And they were able to get the needed victory. Um, somewhere, Matthias, uh, you know, very good uh, yeah. midfielder with, uh, with, with Academy yeah. Warriors, you know. And it, 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 I, I don't think, what, what will happen is that maybe Salisu Yusuf will have to change his tactics. You know, he, he, he has to look at um, his, the, the, the odds against him. And I'm happy. Uh, from what I read, he said he has, you know, he has watched the Benenoa, he mm. has watched their tapes, and he, they are very physical. So he, he really has in, in, in his mind mm. how to approach the game. You know, unlike in the past when our coaches would say they don't have, uh, they don't know anything about uh, yeah. their mm. opponents. Mm. In modern day, I think that is yeah. suicidal. Yeah.